Hello everybody, my name is Savannah Adler and today I will be presenting on steps towards microfiber pollution reduction. I wanted to start off by a quote from Albert Einstein that states, we cannot solve today's problems with uh, the mindset of, or the same thinking that we use when we created them. So the reason why I wanted to start off with this quote um, is what's basically happening in the textile and fashion industry today. So the presenters previously just kind of talked about this whole uh, circular model with nylon, um, but something similar is happening with polyester. So I don't know how many of you are aware that polyester is actually a derivative of plastic, it's PET. So um, they're actually recycling water bottles, which are also made of PET, into new threads that can then um, be woven into new textiles and fibers, creating new garments and products in the industry. So this sounds like a really great idea, but it can actually promote the use of single-use plastics even more and can actually counter the sustainability movement in um, just the mindset that it can um, perpetuate. So who am I? Um, I'm a conscious environmental fashion uh, designer and brand owner here locally in Hawaii, and I also produce events. So here on the left is uh, an image for the flyer that we used for our Ocean Awareness Festival that we launched at Salt and Kaka'ako last July. Um, it was called the Moanalani Festival, and we worked closely with a variety of NGOs and the Office of Sustainability and the Zero Waste Oahu in order to do the first Zero Waste Summit here locally. Um, I was also, as a result, hired to produce Earth Day this year, so I hope to see you guys all there on April 23rd. So what is the problem? Where are microfibers coming from? Where are they ending up? And how is it affecting us? So as you can see right here, I have a washing machine. I'm sure all of you are familiar with washing machines and dryers. Uh, dryers have a lint rack. So that's microfiber pollution and lint that accumulates. But our washing machines don't have filters. So what's going on is uh, these microfibers are shedding from our clothing due to the friction that is caused by the laundering cycle. And um, they're ending up in our water ways and ending up into our oceans ultimately because the and existing infrastructure of the water treatment centers are not designed to filter them out because synthetic fibers are a new invention. So that means the food that we're consuming, right, they're consuming these plastics, it's ultimately ending up in our bodies as well. Scientists have also discovered um, microfibers in the human gut, so this is an area of concern. The reason why microfibers are something to consider um, is because they act as a sponge for really harmful toxins that are linked to cancer, hormonal imbalances, and heart disease. Um, here I have a picture of coral. I'm sure a lot of us here are familiar with the bleachings that are happening. Microfibers have been proven uh, to actually inhibit food intake for coral, so this is something we all have to consider as well. Um, there's also no regulation for how many microplastics can exist in water bottle water. And one fleece jacket can actually produce up to 250,000 microfibers per wash. So what am I proposing? How can we aid in this reduction of microfiber pollution? Um, I'm proposing an awareness campaign that can be launched at our second Wanalani Festival this July and in conjunction with the Student Sustainability Coalition here on campus, which has a variety of different REOs that are represented in sustainable efforts. So, what I'm proposing is an income tax rebate or credit at a state and federal letter level, similar to the photovoltaic tax rebate and the electric car rebate to incentivize people to fasten these uh, already existing filter systems onto their uh, laundry systems at home. So um, the technology already exists, which is the big you know, part. It's $140, it's not you know, a massive expense, but if the state, because the infrastructure of our water treatment centers would be so expensive to kind of update, and if you consider this as a global issue, how many different water treatment centers there are that would need to be updated, we can actually put this um, technology into the hands of individuals to then take that next step into reducing microfiber pollution in their homes. Um, I also propose that this is a regulation for commercial laundry mats and hotels. So anyone can prevent my microfiber pollution. And uh, the technology we already have, are you ready to take it home? Thank you.